So for one bed of lettuce that we just looked at here, how many people would it have taken to weed that? They take like a maybe least two person, least maybe like a 45 minutes, and then good people work, and then like 500 feet. And we just did that currently in about two minutes, three minutes with mm -hmm. the implements that we have here. So it's been yeah. very beneficial to have uh, these implements for this tractor out here. And we're looking forward to expanding and, and finding some more opportunities to be more efficient. I'm Chris with Sound Sustainable Farms here in Redmond, Washington. Uh, we're a 60 acre organic farm in Redmond, Washington. My name is Arturo Lopez and I work at Sustainable Farm here to try to grow all the vegetables. It's a close the loop recycling. So we take the uh, food waste from restaurants, we turn it into compost, use that compost out here on the fields, grow produce and sell that back to the restaurants. So it's a full circle, close the loop from farm to table, to compost, to farm, to table, and on and on and on. Uh, we grow about 70 different varieties of produce out here. Uh, everything from uh, green leaf lettuce, romaine, carrots, Brussels sprouts, what else do we grow? Kale, radish, bok choy, arugula, um, broccoli, cauliflower, garlic, onion, uh, pepper, jalapeno pepper, sweet pepper, strawberry, so, so many, yeah, so, so many, yeah. Yeah, so it's truly a mix of different varieties out here, um, and we're out here looking at different options for the Tillmore weeders. Um, we have them currently on our tractor here, but because of the variety of produce that we do grow out here, we need to look for different ways to implement the different opportunities that Tillmore provides for us. Uh, so we're looking forward to adding on to our collection of uh, Tillmore implements here. Yeah, for use this tractor, I think this is, this has helped me a lot. And uh, when we uh, use the tractor for the, in between the lettuce and the broccoli and the kale, but then it helped me a uh, little bit more to like uh, no use too much people to do weeding. Being an organic farm, we don't spray any uh, pesticides or herbicides out here. So it's really, really important that we're the, as efficient as possible with the equipment we use and utilizing the people that we do have for tasks that are more important than pulling weeds. You know, the harvesting, the packing, the washing, uh, making sure that the people that we do have working for us are doing those tasks and using equipment to do the, the weeding rather than weeding by hand. Before we had the Tillmore, the finger weeder and the basket weeder, how did we do it? We, do, we use the uh, uh, guys, people. You have to do that uh, to the hole or just pull by hand. Yeah, and after that, we, we, we spend more labor, more labor. And that's why and I ask for this one, they buy this one and I would now this uh, hop, hop a lot. Yeah, and making sure that we're growing organically, not using the pesticides and the herbicides, growing really, really healthy food, um, getting it to the consumer within the day or two it's harvested rather than it being on a truck for two weeks. When you look at the big picture of what we do out here, especially considering the compost side of it, where we're, like I mentioned, we're bringing the compost in from the restaurants. Um, it's just a, it's a very sustainable way of farming. And when you look at that big picture, it's just really exciting to be able to work the land out here and, and provide services to the surrounding community.